Hi, my name is Lorena, and I'm going to go through time of day settings on a Solark with one of my clients. Please join us. Setting up time of day, first you want to go to equipment, then you're going to go to the little dots in the corner, and you want site uh, setting parameters, and then you want to go to system work mode. All right, so right here you're going to see this will be lit up once you are grid selling. Uh, right now you are limited to load. And then we are going to set up the cell later when the bi-directional is installed. So it's going to tell you what the max power is based on the system that has been identified. You can set time of day for particular days. The charge and cell control, uh, these are just about whether or not you're charging your batteries at a certain time of day. Cell control is whether or not you're selling energy from your batteries at a certain time of day, right. which is all selectable features. For this purpose, we're not actually going to be setting these. Um, so here is your time of day. Now, first of all, you can actually change these times of day. These are the default settings. So 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. here, going all the way down, 9 uh, to 1, and then so on. In this case, we will not need to change these settings, but if you do need to change them, you will just tap on them. And first you have to delete the one that's there and then change it to the one you want. So let's say you wanted it to start right at midnight and go to 5 a.m., for instance. Um, the one thing that you must do is it has to be in order. So time of day must be continuous in the time one, time two, all of your time zones must be from uh, midnight all the way through the day in a nice consecutive order otherwise it will not work properly so then you go in and you set how many watts it is of your solar energy that you want to or sorry of your battery energy that you want to dedicate to the load panel and this is as simple as setting it to whatever you want so i guess we need to have that on If you want to change it to 2000 watts, you can do that and then return and done. And then now it would be set to 2000 watts. If you wanted to set your depth of discharge on your battery percentage or voltage, depending on what you're set at, in your case, it's depth of discharge on the percentage. So in this case, from this time period, we're only wanting to penetrate the batteries at 25%. So that's why it is set to 25%. The next time zone uh, you have here is the time zone two. This is the primary time zone that you, uh, in this case, would like to use. So we've got this set at 3000 watts, depth of discharge is 50%, and that's going on until 9 a.m. To change your battery SOC, which is your depth of discharge, your total uh, battery, you can simply just do this and change it to whatever you want. Again, this one we are setting at 50 and we're done and it's there. So now if you think that you've messed up one of these settings up, that's fine. Just exit and it will not hold the settings. But once you're done, you're going to press save and then you're done. It'll tell you that the command was done successfully and then you can just use the arrow keys to go back to your regular dashboards. Thank you for joining us, www.evolvegreen.ca.